All right, well, it is the day before Christmas Eve and we are here at Bedford Street Antiques in Carlisle. And um, we're doing a little shopping today to see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. Here we go. There's the jolly old man with the pipe. He's so happy. Oh, look at this. That's so darling. Picture dancing. It reminds me of Sissy in our dance parties. Ice cream set. It's a fancy ice cream. That's like ice cream cake. A little pistachio ice cream, some chocolate and strawberry. This beautiful lamp is still here. Basket purse. I feel like I looked at this one of the last times we were here, maybe. Maybe that was somewhere else that I was looking at a basket purse. Please open. You know, this is not easy one handed. And no, I'm not going to fold and get a GoPro. I don't like GoPros. Okay. It is made in China. So it really wasn't worth all that effort anyway. <laughs> oh, this is a nice bowl. Crystal triangular bowl. Oh my goodness. Is that heavy or what? I don't even... I can't even lift that with one hand. That's how heavy that is. Absolutely stunning though. But yeah, can't lift it. I can't lift it. Okay. Wow. I actually remember seeing Paul list these on Instagram and they're even more magical in person. <laughs> I didn't realize he had two of them. They're matchy matchy. And they've got turtles and snails and $38 a piece. They are chalkware, so they weigh like 7 million pounds, but... Um, those are statement lamps. Like, you design your entire living room around those owls. But they are fantastic. I think I'm in love with them. <laughs> this is adorable. Flat back ceramic tree with Santa. <laughs> Santa's waving. That's waving Santa. Do you see all the rocks? Oh, look at this. I like that. It's so colorful. Looks like it's done on papyrus. Yeah, it does. It's probably more modern. Yeah, I think it is modern. Just because the color is so vibrant on it. There's some nice artwork in here though. Look at those little birds. A couple robins. This is Spongebob right here, Spongebob, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> oh boy. That mask right there is kind of impressive. That looks like it might actually be a tribal mask and not a souvenir piece. And they've got, did not see the price, did we see the, oh, uh, $45 on it. Which I feel like is pretty reasonable, but I don't know. I have a friend who collects African art, and um, I don't know. I've seen a lot of his masks, so that's really the only reference that I have on pieces like that. It might not even be African, but one of the things he told me to look for is on the inside of the mask that that carving and those striations that show that it's been hollowed out and carved. But I love that there's a bird on his head. If I'm being honest, I think that's why I'm attracted to it. All right, I found Juliet's Christmas present. Return everything else. We found Barbies. Just kidding. Got her lots of scrapbooking stuff this year because she's really into crafty stuff. So we're going to get her started on scrapbooking because she's got her Polaroid camera and she's snapping all sorts of pictures. What better place to keep them than in a scrapbook? Sylvester there. Is this open? Open sesame, what's inside? Not a whole lot. What about over here? Tea 
cups. And a large crystal bowl. Wow, Paul's got a lot of crystal. This is another beautiful piece. But that's not something we really want to ship. These lamps are great too. I need to find more stuff for resale. Look, there's Gargamel. <laughs> This is a beautiful Persian medallion, carnival glass bowl. Absolutely stunning. Look at the, how heavy that iridescence is. This is beautiful. Um, looks like Bunny has $75 on it. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to do that for resale, but it's beautiful. Mexican art pottery elephants. Well, that's interesting. Mexico, I mean, I looked at it and I thought that looks like Mexican folk art pottery, but at the same time, I'm like, it's an elephant and they don't have elephants in Mexico. So maybe it's not, but, but it is American Mexico. These were typically made for the tourist trade. So it makes sense that they'd be like, let's make elephants, even though there's no elephants in Mexico. Um, <laughs> or maybe there is don't know but I think that I'm going to grab this for three dollars there's no damage and uh, it's got a bird on it so there you go I think that is a torcher lamp and that is just kind of funky I don't think that oh it's fiberglass it's fiberglass and you um the light shines through the fiber. That is like nothing I have ever seen before. That is a funky lamp. I mean, it's cool and funky at the same time. I feel like somebody probably made that and I like it. I'm not gonna pull it down though. I'm not. I'm not that uh, determined to pull it down and and get a price off of it. But it is. It is an interesting piece. I do want to look in this. This first of all, let's admire this cabinet here for a moment because that is absolutely beautiful. It looks like Paul's got seven hundred and fifty dollars on this cupboard. But in true Paul, in true Paul fashion, it's filled with treasures. So. Let's check this out real quick. Let's see what we've got. What is this? Oh, that is string. Never mind. I don't really need any string right now. So um, <laughs> we've got this. A cheese grater. I'm gonna fix that. Oh, I like that. Amber glass mug. You guys know I got that glass mug from uh, Roller Mills. I kind of like the glass. I mean, I like my glass mug more. This is only $8, though. I mean, why not? I'll grab it for you, but... All right, so I'm sure you all noticed the head vase. You're probably telling me to, to check out the head vase. It's got $19.99 on it. It looks like there is some damage there on her eyelash, which is unfortunate. I feel like if there was no damage on her eyelash, I would probably grab it. It's only $19.99. That's probably a good price. But I think I am going to pass on that. All right. It's a whole box of dragons. This guy looks familiar. He looks like the dragon that we saw in um, the barn cleanout. What is that? That looks super fancy. Come here, you. What are you? You look like a doorknob. <laughs> Ooh, it opens. Oh, that scared me for a minute. Ooh, I thought that doorknob was gonna jump right off of there. Um, I mean, it looks to be silver. It could just be really heavily plated. I don't know. Is there a silver? I don't see any markings. It sure as heck looks silver. Silver lid inkwell. There you go. But it's monogrammed, so that makes it that makes it tough. And since Andrew abandoned us, we cannot ask him about it. Look at the owl. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I rarely venture into this little nook back here, but um, okay, we're gonna start over on this side where I have the camera pointed right now. I just noticed something behind me and I'm like, should I show you? No, I'll wait to show you. I noticed, I noticed that. What is that? Yes, I noticed the bunnies, but I noticed, what, what is that? Oh, it's just a little battery-operated angel. It's nothing. What is this? The vase. Okay, never mind. That was anticlimactic. I'm sorry. Ooh, that's scary. Ooh, that's scary. There we go. Oh, that's better. All right, I'm gonna grab the bunnies back out of here. The bunnies are nine dollars. I feel like that's a Japan planter. I'm gonna set that over here for now because what I'm really going for. Is the shell twenty-four dollars on the shell? And it's modern. Okay, all that work for nothing. It's really got a vintage look to it, for real though. The other piece I noticed was not these. this here. This looks like crystal clear Murano, but I've never seen it in these colors before. So crystal clear Murano is not actual Murano. It's like a misleading label. Um, it's made in the style of Murano, but I do believe that crystal clear is made in China. Pretty sure. Um, I just know that it's not actual artisans of Murano glass. $19. Is it is about, I'd say about what it's worth. Um, one of the giveaways is that cloudy bottom, but it can be really pretty. I especially like this color combination. What is this? France, Limoges. It's Limoges. It's Limoges. Limoges? Limoges. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I kind of like this face. Like a, that's old. That's got some age to it. Eighteen dollars for that one. Got a little flea bite, a few flea bites there, but there's no marking on the bottom. But that color, I like that color. It's silver plate. Are you sure? Yeah. I was like convinced. I'm like, I think this might be silver, but Andrew just abandoned me here all by myself. What am I to do? Poor me. I can't function. I like this little bonnet. Those plates for us, though, they just, they don't really sell very well, so. All right, well, I have ventured here into the back of this little booth, and I noticed this piece up here. P.A. Capital Picture. Oh, it does have the Pennsylvania Capital on there. Is it the new one or the old one? Yes, it's Pennsylvania's new capital. Um, the original capital burned down and they had to rebuild the capital in the early 1900s. So um, this is $9.50. What do you have? Yellowware miniature chamber pot. Hmm. It is, it's a miniature chamber it's pot. It's for dollies. Yeah, that's actually a cool piece. Um, I was gonna reach back here reach over Jesus excuse me Jesus I'm just reaching over you right here that is $18 a little fairy oh she's broken oh that's a shame that's a shame her wing is broken she got a broken wing okay now I gotta slide back oh, 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 oh. Isn't that nice that top wants to just jump right off into that wash basin. This? Yeah, he's he's, going nowhere. he's like, I'm going to bail off of this shell. Yeah, look at him. Look at him go. Look, there he goes. He's done. Um, what else is there? There was something else that I noticed and then I got distracted. Oh, this. Oh, 
African Heritage Limited, Nairobi. Interesting. So I think that's probably a souvenir piece or a tourist piece. So we're going to pass on that. Yes, um, it's either Brush McCoy or Burley Winter. They both made these ear vases. But, ooh, this is... What is this? Helium hopper. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's kind of fun. It's a helium balloon. Yeah, but it's got claws. It's a clawed... A clawed decat. Not a declawed cat. A clawed decat. So the last time I was at Goodwill, no, maybe a few times ago I was at Goodwill, um, I had picked up some bunny cans and one of my viewers had commented about it being the naughty version of the bunny cans and I was like, the naughty version? I didn't really look that closely at it, I just knew that it was bunny cans and I grabbed it without looking at what it was, but now I'm seeing this and I'm thinking, are these the naughty bunny cans? Look at the mess that they're making. They're being so naughty. This is like my kids every day making giant messes. <laughs> so it's uh, $45 for this set. And um, the viewer who commented, and I'm so sorry, I can't remember your username, but um, they commented that the naughty bunnykins does have a higher resale value because it's naughty. So I'm not sure if this is what they were talking about or not, but they do look awfully naughty there. All right, so we are on our way downstairs because they are closing, but I did want to peek through here real quick, super quick, because um, we have had some good luck in this booth. And um, I want to make sure that I don't miss anything. I have this, this, anxiety, this anxiety about missing something. And um, it's no fun. <laughs> There's an eggplant down there. Look at that eggplant. It's a glass eggplant. That's weird. Alright. I'm not seeing much more from the last time we were here because I wasn't here that long ago. So I don't think I have to worry too much. I think we're good. All right, well, that is it for us. We are going to get out of here now because they are closing. Um, but I feel like we got some good stuff today. We didn't get a whole lot. We didn't have a whole lot of time. We are kind of on a time crunch, but that means it's 7 o'clock and they are closed. So um, we're going to pay for everything. I'll give you guys a total down here since I'm not going to do it for my dark car. Um, but I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas um, because I probably will not be posting a video tomorrow. Um, I think I'm going to take the day off. Maybe. We'll see. Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa. That covers all of them. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs>